Well, Democrats fighting to stick together as the Trump agenda advances, but progressives, well, they are really taking charge in this party, and, and they are reassembling the base. It can't uh, really certainly be the same. We're going to probably see a whole different set of principles as this group moves further to the left. John Cox, Republican gubernatorial candidate for California and a venture capitalist, joins me now because, John, it feels like the entire Democratic Party being shifted toward the way Democrats in California work. In fact, Kamala Harris, one of the top stars in, in, in the party, yeah. is sort of the, uh, the figurehead for all of this. But, you know, we're talking about your state yesterday to start talking about taking back corporate profits, beginning, by the way, with just a yeah. million dollars, as if a company with a million dollars in profit yeah. is ExxonMobil or someone like that. Uh, I agree, Charles, and, and thanks for having me on. I'm a big fan of yours. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a small businessman, Charles, and, and my revenues, I have 95 employees, uh, people who depend on a paycheck from my business, and uh, we're, our revenues are more than a million dollars, but it doesn't all fall to the bottom line. You know, this is all typical of California, because California's legislature is basically bought and paid for by special interests. They promised incredible salaries and pensions and retiree health care to the state employees, who return the favor, you know, by funneling their dues back to the politicians to run their campaign. So they need all this money, and therefore they're going to come up with anything they can to try to get more tax revenue out of the pockets of Californians. It's got to yeah. end, and I think it will in 2018 when I'm elected. John, you know, so interesting to that point, I would invite all of our viewers to look into the three strikes law that was pushed by California's Corrections Department. Uh, in 25 years, they yeah. built 25 prisons, became even more powerful. To your point, the reciprocal relationship between that big union and government and higher taxes uh, paid a, a heavy toll on, on everybody across the spectrum. Another problem that I see uh, uh, that I'm concerned about yeah. today, the driver's license issue. Uh, if yeah. illegals can have driver's license and you automatically are registered to vote upon getting a driver's license, are we essentially saying de facto illegals can vote in California soon? Well, and, and that's all part of the plan, obviously, and that's one of the reasons why they're all in favor of pushing you know, DACA and legalization of illegal uh, aliens. Uh, it's all part of getting more votes for their system. And, and circling back to your question on the prisons, it now costs $75,000 a year to house a prisoner in California. Charles, that's why they enacted propositions like 47 to reclassify felonies as misdemeanors, because we really literally can't afford to keep people in prison anymore because we're paying dentists in the prison $800,000 a year. There's prison psychiatrists making $500,000 a year, and that doesn't count the outrageous pensions that they're being offered. And again, it's all about recycling their union right. dues back to the politicians that run their campaigns. It's basically an illegal cartel that's got to end. And I, 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 I'm going to make sure it does. Well, John, I think a lot of people will be interested in that story in California and across this country because uh, that's not the narrative that's ever put out there by the mainstream media. We wish you luck, and I appreciate you coming on the show. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it.